Hi everyone, my name is Eva Gray Kantuma. I'm from Greatest Car Design Concept. This is actually my WhatsApp contact. You can reach me on this number, you can call me, okay? Uh, these are the list of softwares which we have covered on our YouTube channel. Um, the link is actually available down below the description of this video. You find the link to that channel, visit that channel and actually keep yourself busy. We have covered architectural drawings, um, mechanical and electrical service drawings. Uh, structural designs and detailings, uh, water designs and, and road designs. Okay, um, we teach all of these softwares on our Telegram platform. What we'll give you the software, we'll guide you on how to install it and how to crack it on your system yourself. Okay, we'll train you through the process of design for 40 days just for a token. Okay, you can just switch me on this number. Okay, uh, today I'm going to be taking you. Uh, through uh, a very great uh, tool in the software called Start Pro. Okay, we have covered uh, the introduction part, which is the episode one. Uh, we have covered a single plane, which is the episode uh, two. We have covered a uh, uh, double plane. We have covered uh, um, today. I'll be taking you through uh, the three plane. Okay, of uh, on Start Pro, where we are going to be. Uh, actually designing a frame okay we have covered that too on our episode 4 so uh, on this episode I'll be taking you through that uh, process using a great software uh, a great tool okay right now let's jump right into it uh, I'm going to click on new project and I'll check on space and then I'll leave this as it is I have taken through I've gone through all of this uh, process in uh, uh, last uh, episode okay you can get all of those um, tutorials on that uh, YouTube channel okay uh, so if I click on next and then I'm going to leave it at add beam okay now this is the window um, we are going to be using uh, the structural wizard uh, which is actually very much available at uh, at the welcome window but uh, I'm going to be using this to achieve that okay so if I click on my run window okay it's actually loading okay if you already like what you're seeing make sure you like this video and then give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel it's actually 100% free you see a red button down below this uh, video just look for that written subscribe just click on that red button and you have subscribed already okay uh, make sure you click on the bell icon so as to always get a notification whenever i post videos i post videos like this on a weekly sometimes on a daily so as to encourage as many that wants to have a deeper insight of design now uh, we are actually on a prototype model uh, so whatever you do here you are going to have a prototype of that exactly as it is here uh, on your window okay uh, so um, we are on a truss model these are trusses okay we have different types of uh, trusses you can achieve here and then if I switch this to frame model uh, this way we are going to have frame we have the floor grid we have the grid frame the bay frame we have different kinds of uh, frame frame as you can see here we have the continuous beam we have the circular beam okay reverse <coughs> cylinder cylindrical okay uh, so if I double click on this uh, frame um, now you can see this B frame has no connections at the bottom here but this actually has this uh, is actually the major difference between this and this so if I double click on this you can see this actually window that actually pops up I'm going to be explaining this uh, briefly you can see here we have a uh, number of these along length we have I have explained the XYZ for us in our previous uh, tutorial where I actually explain all of that okay so on this uh, video I'm going to uh, be taking you through that process uh, right now so I'll close this window and then I'll take you through that process now you can see here we have uh, base here base actually means a uh, uh, span okay so just like we have one span here we have two span here okay continuously like that we can have uh, so many other spans okay so those are actually what we mean by base b okay we have b here along the x-axis 
we have b here along the y axis so if uh, this drawing has uh, happened to be a 3d for example you are going to be having a uh, let's say you have this uh, for example this way So if, if for example this is our 3D, we have a 3D like this, okay, so now you know we have our X axis along this, we have our Y axis along this, and then this is actually the Z, okay, so we have our X, we have our Y, okay, and then we have our Z. We can actually just uh, let's and then this is actually set. So if I move this. We have our X here, so I think this is in auto mode. So we have uh, our X in this direction. We have our Y in this direction, and then we have our Z in this direction. Okay, so this is actually Z. Okay, so. So there is definitely a distance uh, from here so there is a distance from here to here okay so um let's have let's say we have another b here okay so we have this line this way this goes across this this way okay good so in essence what uh, this software is actually uh, sorry it's asking me to save so in essence what this actually is actually telling us is along the height we are going to be having um five number of bays okay like i explained from uh, our diagram okay so we are going to be having five number of bays along uh, the length we are going to be having four number of bays along uh, the width we are going to be having four number of days now what that means since this value is actually 12 that means when you divide okay uh, 12 divided by 3 that means each b is going to be at the span of three meters along this width okay and then along this height what that means is uh each b along uh this height which we have five number of it is just like uh five you having five stories okay five different stories okay like story one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so uh, it's at a span of uh, three three meters. At uh, this two is actually at three three meters. So if I click on apply, you can see this is actually how the model is going to look like. You can see along our x one, two, three, four. Okay, we have one, two, three, four. Along the height, you can see we have one, two, three, four, five. So we have starting from here one, two, three, four. And then five okay you are just seeing uh, a lot of groups of lines so uh, you may not be able to get that uh, uh, more realistic but we to uh, view it in 3d later on uh, on this video if you stay through the end of this video you're going to see how i'm going to apply um, the assigned sections to these and then um, you will see and then we'll view it in in a rendered form and then you appreciate it more okay so if i actually i can close this or i can come to edit and then uh, if i click on add or paste model in start pro uh, if i click on yes you can see this will actually pop up for us now this actually um we're having at uh, x y z okay um now what this actually means is you you actually are uh, specifying like a particular coordinate for it but since we don't already we don't have nodes uh, that are provided here 
uh, the one you see here it's actually an error which I actually made uh, which is not supposed to be there but I can actually paste it with reference to this as well too but I'm not doing that so if I click on OK um, but I believe this point is at zero two as well okay so uh, if I click on OK so my x y z is actually zero if you have been following us through this uh, tutorial you understand uh, the point I'm trying to make so if I click on OK now you can see everything now has actually popped up you can actually uh, rotate a bit to see uh, what is actually going on here okay good so we have gotten uh, our base here okay so um, okay good um, so let's let's go back here and come to our own structural wizard so um, let's say for example we want to place like a trust on this um all i need to do is just to actually double click on that um now you can see the length if you can remember from uh this we actually use 12 so we want to align it to actually align with uh what we have there so uh this height let's say is three meters for example and then let's say the width is actually uh uh, three meters as well uh, 12 okay so um so number of bees along the length okay so the number of bees i'm going to have along that uh, length i'm going to be having uh, four because if you can remember from uh, this uh, diagram on our um, frame models we actually use uh, four of that okay so we just want to align uh, the trusses with uh, the frames okay so if um, to do that so here number of bees along the bit as well I'm going to make it four as well okay um, so if I you can see this is exactly what I'm actually going to have so um, now instead of coming to edit if i try to close this you can see it's asking me if i want to paste if i click on yes you can see this actually still pops up but right now i already have where i want to actually place my my um my my trucks okay so i can use the reference and i can also use um the zero zero if i already know uh, the coordinate here okay so let's say i use um, if i leave it at zero zero it's going to pick uh, so let me use the reference okay so i'm going to use reference points so let's say this is actually a reference point and i click on okay duplicate node ignored Sorry, let me do this like this. Let's see, let's see the top here. Okay, good. Okay, let's let's come to render. Now you can see how our trusses are actually laid on top of uh, this our frames okay um, I can use another type of uh, frame um, if I actually delete the one I, that I have already that is existing here I can take that off so if I go I can just control Z to take that back uh, redo this okay so this is what I have here um, so what if I want to actually use another type of uh, uh, trust um, let's use this and see what we have or oh, this is the one we used uh, 
okay let's use this uh, i'm going to make this four as well blend um, 12 uh, the width is uh, 12 and the height i'm going to make it uh, two thousand two meters okay and then i'll apply okay this is the one we just did okay let's come back here okay then make this 12 i'll make this four and i'll make this four so you can see this is exactly how it's going to look like um, let's try for this and see the height 2 meters the width 12 ok so number of these I'm going to have 4 here too I'm going to make it 4 and I apply so you can see they are actually of a different shape so I can just try to close it and click on yes. Um, I can pick from reference. Okay, since I already where have where I want to actually position that. So if I position it here and then I click on OK. Okay, you can see how it's actually going to look like. If I view this on a 3D, you can see this how it's going to look like. So I can actually. Uh, assign uh, sections to uh, structural members all I need to do is to come back to this uh, a common general and I click on edit uh, sorry define and then I'm going to have my columns uh, let's say my columns is 230 okay I'm just going to be assigning this for instance okay so I have a column for 230 by 230 and then I'm going to have a beam for uh, 230 by okay my y is 450 okay so if I add and then I close okay so for my beams I'm going to uh, come back here uh, and then um, okay so okay so I'm going to parallel to uh, x axis you're going to see good uh, okay this is for sorry I'm going to pick this for beam come here select come down to my select parallel to um, y axis you can see it has picked all of my column uh, so assign to selected beam and I assign that <sighs> but, sorry these are actually columns okay so you have to sorry my brain is actually very hot right now so <laughs> so if I assign parallel to my x okay so it's going to pick some of uh, this beam okay so you have to be very careful parallel to x aha uh -huh. now good this is what i want so it's not actually picking all the beams which i have explained in my previous uh, tutorial so and i'll go parallel to uh, z okay i have explained all of this uh, in the previous tutorial so if you have been following me uh, so if I switch this to 230 by 230 I go and I'm going to select parallel to uh, Y axis so if I assign okay and I click on yes good so um, if I come down to if I come back here you can see it's showing you the thickness of your beams and that of your columns 
if you love what you're seeing make sure you like this video uh give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel it's actually free click on the bell icon so as to always get a notification whenever i post videos i post videos like this on a weekly sometimes on a daily so as to encourage as many that wants to have a deeper insight of design okay make sure you stay safe and then make sure that you actually uh, stay blessed okay